All right. To weigh these bows, what I've got here is basically it's a really simple setup. Anybody could do it. You just need to take a a spring bathroom scale, and this is a tiller that I use for making wooden bows. But you could easily just take a stick and put a little notch in it, and have it contact the scale at the bottom. And what I have here is I have inch increments going all the way down and this is all you know measuring to AMO standards so we're going to be drawing these bows to an AMO 28 inch draw so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our PVC pipe bow go ahead and you take it place it in the tiller here okay, so now if you can look, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your scale is zero. So once your scale is zero, what you want to do is you want to take your string and you want to draw it down to 28 inches. So you can see it's getting around. So the longer I hold it, the more it'll drop down to about 35. So, pull that back. Now I want to show you what happened to the bow here. As you can see, the bow has taken an awful permanent bend right here in the center of the hand. And this is typical of what you'll see in really overstressed short bows. This wouldn't be a problem if this pipe were, say, five feet long. But I just wanted to show you at four feet, just, you know, as a comparison. So here we have our flattened, oh, our flattened pipe. Set it in the scale. Make sure it's zero. And then draw it back to 28 inches. So there you go. 35 pounds and it holds it pretty steady, doesn't really drop. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to just show you what these bows look like at a 28 inch draw. So we move the scale here. So bring this back. And that's what this bow looks like, 28 inches. And you can see it is bending some right here, but you can see there's a nice curve right in here. So this is definitely, you would consider this an overdraw. You know, this is pulling a lot further than you'd want to, but for demonstration purposes, you know, this is how this bends. And you can see there's a neat arc coming from here down to the tip. So now let's try our pipe, let's see, put that in, alright, now let's draw this to 28 inches, and as you can see, it almost looks like a straight pipe here, straight pipe here, and bent, that's it. Now that, now that it's been drawn fully for a little bit, you can see what has happened to it. If you compare both bows, what was a shallow V is now a hard, harsh V shape. Whereas our other bow is still in that nice curve shape. So you can actually see very clearly the difference between these two bows now. Gonna pull them up to full draw so you can see. So one thing I want to add is in all of my videos, you'll notice I don't make bows like this. 
I always put some kind of flex into the handle. The reason why is because if there's enough of a forward flex here, it kind of lessens the effect that this hard bend will have. And so what will happen is that instead of it bending really hard in the center, this, this curved piece will flex out a little bit and it'll have a little bit of a give to it. That way this is minimized. But still the idea is the same. Alright, so in conclusion of this little draw weight portion of our uh, comparison, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unstring both of the bows and you can see what they look like after being fully drawn a few times. So here's our flattened pipe. So as you can see, it's gotten some set. You can see it's mainly got, it's mainly taken set in this portion and this portion of the bow. So here you go. This is the main reason why I recurve the bow just to get a little bit because this is inevitable. PVC is going to is going to do this. Now this is less noticeable on a larger diameter, or if you just made this longer. If this were five feet, you would hardly notice any string follow at all. So, now we're going to unstring this beast over here. see it's pretty much stuck this way in this v-shape so I would estimate oh, I don't I'd estimate maybe about a good five inches of string follow on this and this is just because there's a lot of pressure on the handle here now if, again if this were a five foot long bow or if we were using a different material, this wouldn't be as big of a problem. But this is the main reason why a lot of round PVC pipe bows, when you take the string off, they're very close, as you can see. To string this up, all you need to do is all you need to do is put the string on a little bit more, and it's strong. So that's the problem with this. And I'll show you both bows side by side. On the handles. From the tips, see the difference. If this makes it clear. Thanks for watching. Bye.